Welcome to our tutorial for working with groupings when working with Drupal views. Okay. Um, almost often I find myself looking for for solutions in in trying to group field contents ah content items such as this and group according to class some classifications in Drupal that's that's grouping content items by taxonomy terms so we I always find a need to to not just have a a simple listing of all content items in a page but I often find myself uh, trying to group this these content items according to their to their categories or classifications or in drupal that's uh, categorizing these content items according to taxonomy terms okay so on this page this is what uh, we will uh, this is what i want this is what we uh, want to achieve uh, content items with different fields title date of uh, date of publish date sign etc and each of these uh, content are group according to their classifications or category or uh, taxonomy terms and we need to uh, we need to not just group this but group this according to some sort of uh, sorting by sorting by the grouping grouping field or the group uh, sorting by groups it's always easy to create groupings but one one uh, concern that uh, i always find myself looking for solutions is how to custom group uh, custom the ordering of the taxonomy terms okay but first we will show you how to to create a simple grouping okay going to your Drupal uh, this is Drupal 9 by the way going to Drupal 9 we have previously created a content type called policy okay we have all those okay and in a separate area we also created a under structure taxonomy we created also a policy category ter, uh, vocabulary which would categorize all these contents which will group or categorize all these contents accordingly and we have created all these um, classifications or categories uh, meaning we have created all these terms under a uh, taxonomy vocabulary called policy category once we have that, we would uh, head over to views because we would want to create initially a, a simple listing of all those of all those um, policy content items. So first, we would want to create a page, a views page. Okay, we'll call this a policy test. Okay, this will become the the listing page similar to what we have here for all the policy content items okay and then, of course we would want to get the content uh, uh, that are from the content type policy only and we we wouldn't want to sort it yet we'll do that later on by this and then we create a display page for this view and then we'll simply immediately create a url so that so so that we can access it via url later on uh, in a quick manner okay and at this point i would want to utilize a table view a table format a table display similar to this right okay and um, we'll uh we'll leave this default the pager we'll uh, fix that later on and then i wouldn't create a block yet just a page uh, that is accessible via policy slash test URL. OK, 
okay that's it okay let me just zoom this a bit okay we now have this simple listing a simple simple table of uh, a table that contains all of the content items that are created as policy content items that's why you see here this this filter criteria is the the first few steps that we did earlier when we were creating this display page or this views page okay okay the the first thing that you would uh, notice probably is that uh, uh, the the table simply lists all the titles of the content item right so we would want to add uh, the reason is because when we were creating the views uh, we created by default uh, uh, a, a display page that will get the title of the of that of those contents so if we want to add more more of those information uh, for example we would want to uh, get or to display the date when it was signed then when it was probably published so those are all appearing under the content type okay the policy content type and what else maybe we'll just filter this by policy so we get all the possible fields that are available okay and okay we do not have a body for this okay and maybe we'll use this for now okay date published and date signed okay and it will next ask you for some settings for the first field that you have selected like the date published okay we would simply you know uh, just get some basic settings in place like uh, what's the format the display format of the date would probably want a custom short date november 1 2021 this this format apply and continue and it will now ask you for the next field settings for the next field of course it's also date field so we would have the same date format similar to the first okay at this point since you have already uh, included two more additional fields date publish and date signed and because you have uh, selected the date at uh, the table format it will now have in the second and third column those two additional fields okay besides the titles you now have three fields arranged you now have three fields arranged in a table format and each of these fields are arranged in in three columns okay one field per one column okay we save that okay since we have already set a path a url path for this display page it means that we can easily access that display page by navigating to that path okay just put in the forward slash first and then paste the url path alias okay no need to put in the forward slash it's already there enter okay you now have this okay uh, probably we just need to to remove this first though that uh, that block on the side we do not need that actually let me just quickly go to that page so that I can edit this block and remove it from that page so it will not appear from that page okay we need to hide that from that page meaning from this URL pattern from this URL page okay and save that we will now clean up okay we need to clean up the rest the tags and probably some more okay that's it just okay so we need to remove that from that page slash policy slash test 
Okay. So that we get a full view of the table. All right, there you go. Okay, once we have that, uh, we'd probably want to have another column here that, you know, for, for a simple guide to to get a column of uh, of the category, of the policy category, each of these uh, policies are uh, belong to, okay? So going back to to views, to that view, we need to add another field of that term, which is which has been created earlier, policy category field that points to to the taxonomy term. So it's another topic actually. Okay, we just configure that, add and configure. Okay, we'll put in the default. So now we have a policy category at the end, uh, at the last column. Okay. Okay, just a simple guide so that uh, we will be working on that later on. We don't really need this uh, in the end because what we we are after would be something like this. We don't need that uh, additional category column because we are already we will be grouping our table according to 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 this, and the category will be the category label will be appearing at, uh, at the top of each of each table of each category table okay going back to our views okay <laughs> this time we we need to to group uh, the court the content items in a certain manner by going to the table settings by going to the table settings and by going to the table settings and and clicking on the table settings, we will by this time we will find that we have a a grouping setting here that we can utilize to group certain certain in a certain manner to group our contents in a certain manner. And in our case, this is a table. Okay, so the, this part here will contain all the table settings, but somewhere in the middle, the grouping field, okay, number one, you can have as many groupings as, as you want accordingly. Okay, so first we would try to group this according to policy, policy category, right? Because this makes sense. We want to group these content items according to their category. Okay, and we would choose this, okay? And then we would apply that and save. At this point, you will now see that all our contents, okay, ha have now been um, grouped according to to the uh, category, the policy category, right? So at this point, we have already achieved uh, a simple way of of you know, grouping our contents. Previously, we simply have one table with a long list of everything. But by clicking the, the grouping field setting, uh, which we found in the, in the table settings, it has now created, this listing has now created two tables because it found that it needs to create two groupings of a category. Okay. So we have the first table here called the um, circulars table, okay? So to double check, those are all department circulars. While another table, which it now created additionally, in a separate table, we now have uh, all content items that only belong to the policy category called Republic Acts, okay? All right. Uh, at this point, we have now seen uh, how to create a simple group uh, groupings uh, within views okay in a simple example such as such as what we have um, there will be another series after this uh, because we found out we always find out that um, uh, it's easy to create groupings but we we find uh, we always find out that it's it's Another another steps are needed to 
to sort to sort the category in a custom manner okay by default by default i would assume that uh drupal views the groupings is being sorted alphabetically okay what if we do not want it sorted alphabetically what we what if we want the republic acts grouping to come before the policy uh, before the circulars uh, table um, the first thing that you would uh, okay maybe we'll we'll discuss that on the next video okay just follow the 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 link that we will be that we will be putting in the description of this video okay see you in the next video all right i hope this helps